Now this video is going to talk about congruent numbers. Okay, and this is kind of an overview. I'm sure there's a little more specifics to this and eventually I may revisit this subject. So this is not going to be the last video on congruent numbers, but it's going to be the first. Okay. Now, what did Gauss say about congruent numbers? Gauss said, if a number divides the difference of the numbers B and C, B and C are said to be congruent relative to a number. What does all that mean? That's a lot. Alright. If a number, which is right here, the 5, see that 5 right there? If that 5 divides the difference of the numbers B and C, well, we're going to take 9, negative 9 and 16. See that negative 9 right there? We're going to take this 16. All right. If 5 divides the difference of negative 9 and 16, then B and C, which is negative 9 and 16, are said to be congruent relative to a number, which would be 5. All right. So here's how this is going to work. What is 16 minus negative 9? Well, 16 minus negative 9, of course, is 16 plus 9 because the minus is going to change the negative sign to a plus sign. So therefore, 16 plus 9 is 25. Well, is it 25 divisible by 5? Of course it is. So, 5 being the modulus, that number 5 is what they call the modulus, it's going to divide the difference between numbers B and C, which 16 and 9 are the two numbers. Oh, 16 and negative 9 are the two numbers. Okay. And if these two numbers, 16 and negative 9, are congruent to one another, then it is also said, and by the way, that is not an equal sign. Let me draw the third line up here. That's better. If you see two lines, it's an equal sign. If you see three lines, it's congruent. Watch that. Two lines is an equal sign. Three lines is a congruent sign. So 16 and negative 9 are congruent to each other. And they are all... 16 is the residue of negative 9. And negative 9 is the residue of 16. Now, residue in those days is now what we call a remainder. All right, now I'm going to show you how this works. Now, let's say we start with negative 9 and we move five spaces to the right. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay? 3, 2, 1, 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If you move five spaces back this way, starting from negative 9, you'll eventually end up at the number 16. That's what we were talking about in modular arithmetic. It's just like a clock. When you go from 1 to 12, you have to start back at 1 again. You don't get to go to 13 o'clock and 14 o'clock. When you hit that 12, you start again. Even in the 24-hour system, which the military use, you know, they say 1,200 hours, 1,300 hours, 1,400 hours. Once you reach 2,400 hours, you start again at 100 hours. So even the military clock is modulus. They just do it a little differently than what normal people do. Okay, so negative 9 and 16 are congruent to each other and negative 9 is the residue of 16 and 16 is the residue of negative 9 relative to this modulus. Now if we had said mod 3 instead of mod 5, none of that would be true because negative 9 would not be congruent to 16 modulus 3. Because if you're going to count backwards, okay, 
three, you would go 876-543-210-123-456-789-1011-12-13-14-15. You'd end up at 15 instead of 16. And there you go. So modulus 3 wouldn't work, but modulus 5 does. And we know this to be a fact because 16 minus negative 9, of course, is 25. And 3 does not divide 25. 3 divides 24, but 3 doesn't divide 25. So, that's how that works. Now, let's say you were given um, negative 7, 15, and modulus 11. Well, that's going to work because 15 minus negative 7, okay, 15 minus negative 7 is going to be 22. All right? And, of course, 11 is going to be able to divide 22. Now, how do you know this is going to work? Well, if you go from negative 7 to positive 4, that's 11 steps. You go from positive 4 to 15, that's 11 steps. And there you go. But... If you are saying that uh, negative 7 and 15 are congruent, modulus 3, that would be a lie. Because if you take 3 steps instead of 11 steps, you'll figure it out for yourself. And if you don't believe me, you can illustrate that right down here. on uh, Make a video response showing that. But anyway, that's how that works in a nutshell. So... Hopefully you understood all this. If you have any comp any questions or whatever, just leave them in the comments down below. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.